Hello guys, KD here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this small but very powerful Tesla coil with only four components. So let's start the video. So guys, first let's wind the coil. So here I am using a PVC pipe with a diameter of around 40 mm. So for the winding, I am using 0.25 mm copper wire so first make a small hole on the pvc pipe and then start winding in clockwise direction uh, like this so our coil is ready as you can see and make sure that the winding does not overlap each other otherwise it will not work properly so now let's make the control circuit so first you need a IRF 640N MOSFET and mount it on a big heatsink so now Take a 1 kilo ohm variable resistor and solder it on the gate and source of the MOSFET uh, like this. Now you need a 47 ohm resistor and solder it to the remaining pin of the 1 kilo ohm potentiometer. Now you need a MKP capacitor. So here I am using 5 pure 275 volt AC so solder it on source of the MOSFET and the remaining pin of the 47R resistor so now let's find the primary coil so here I am using a 1mm copper wire so wind one turn around the coil like this and make sure that there is a space between the primary and secondary otherwise the arc will jump across each other now connect the primary coil to the drain of the MOSFET and the point on which the 47R resistor and the MKP capacitor are connected so this is our positive input and the source of the MOSFET is our negative input now connect the remaining point of the secondary winding to the gate of the MOSFET like this. Now use a nail as a breakout point. So now let's test the circuit. So I have connected a 18 volt power source to it. So first set the potentiometer maximum on the right side and then slowly Turn it to the left. As you can see, a beautiful arc is coming. So now I have connected a 100 watt bulb. So now let's turn on the Tesla coil. So guys this was my today's video and if you like this video 
then please like subscribe and share with your friends and if you have any question regarding the circuit then you can ask me in the comments so thanks for watching